So I'm inside uh, Robinson's Lifestyle, and I don't think I can get my phone here at uh, Power Buy, but they do have a, uh, a range of phones available. They don't seem to sell uh, Xiaomi here though. But just for fun, I thought I'd uh, take a look at some of the phones here. So they've got a lot of the uh, Samsungs. And this is kind of what freaked me out when I first started looking at new phones these days because they're so tall. I mean, I know that these are all like 6.6 inch screens and yet I thought they would kind of get wider at the same time as they got taller, but they're just, they're just getting taller and taller and taller. They're like giant towers now. I mean, just look how they seem very thin now, though in fact they're still just as wide as my Motorola. They just give the illusion of being thin because they're so tall. And uh, when I first saw these, I thought they'd be very hard to get used to, and they probably will be. But they do have some uh, Realme over there. Let's take a look at those. So these are the Realme. Oh, that's right. I, I came in here before and they don't have the 7 Pro on display or the 6. All they have here are the, the, the budget C17 for 5,000 uh, baht. That's what they have here. And there's a brochure for the Realme 7 Pro. And there's that 65 watt super fast charging that I was talking about. That's its headline feature. But yeah, they call it super dart charge. But it's the one feature that I have absolutely no use for. So doesn't really uh, grab me. And they have some uh, Huawei's. And of course, Huawei is uh, quite interesting because as far as I understand all their legal troubles with the United States, you can buy a Huawei now, but you no longer have access to Google. So no Google products are available on a Huawei phone. It seems like that would uh, kill them as a brand. We'll see how that goes. Power Buy is one of the few stores in Mesot that carries GoPro products. And in fact, I bought my uh, GoPro batteries here at uh, Power Buy last time. But they seem to be almost maybe getting out of the GoPro business. This almost looks like a clearance sale and they're just getting rid of some last items. And yeah, they don't even have the Hero 9 on display here. It's still just a Hero 7 and Hero 8. So maybe they're getting out of the uh, GoPro business. That is it for Power Buy. Not much else to explore there. <laughs> One thing, I'm also investigating uh, buying a Bluetooth keyboard. This is another weird kind of Doug story because I own a Logitech K380 Bluetooth keyboard. I already own one and it is in storage in Malaysia, which I can't get to at the moment. But here in Mesod, I decided I wanted a uh, wireless keyboard. So I went out shopping for one and I couldn't bring myself to buy another K380 Bluetooth because it's, it's more expensive than the alternatives. And I thought, why buy a second one when I already own one? So I bought a fairly standard uh, wireless keyboard that uses a wireless dongle that you have to plug into your phone in order to use the keyboard. And it works very well. It's a, a good keyboard, comes with a mouse, so it's a keyboard-mouse combo. It's half the price of the K380 Bluetooth. And I thought, I'll use it for two months, then the border into Malaysia will open up, and then I can go get my K380. <laughs> but I'm still here, no K380. And now it's gotten to the point where my wireless keyboard with the dongle is getting annoying because I have to plug the dongle into the phone. So while that dongle is plugged in, I can't plug in anything else. I can't charge the phone while I'm using it, which is a real problem. I can't copy files to the phone while I'm using it. And if I have a Bluetooth keyboard, I can bypass that problem because I don't have to plug anything in. It connects uh, via Bluetooth. So. <laughs> 
I made such a big deal out of not buying the K380 Bluetooth because I already have one. And now I find myself in the situation of maybe buying it anyway. So we'll see. Power Buy didn't have the K380, but Banana, where I'm, where I'm heading, the Banana store, um, it does carry Logitech uh, keyboards. And in the past, I've seen the K380 there. So since I'm spending money today, I thought I might take advantage of the spending money mood and pick up a new keyboard at the same time. But probably not. It's just a passing thought. Again, I don't know if there's anyone out there like me, but I find when I'm about to make a big purchase, I get a little bit nervous and I don't want to dive right into it. I end up circling the store like a shark in the water circling a uh, surfer. I don't go directly to the store. I kind of visit a few other stores first. I get my thoughts together <laughs> and then I walk around in a big circle and slowly uh, zero in on the store. So I think banana is just across the way here. I've already popped into one or two other smartphone stores. And something that always jumps out at me is how poorly stocked brick and mortar stores are now. They don't carry anything. And it's no wonder that they're getting outdone by online shopping because even now I went into a couple of these stores and they don't carry any of the phones I'm thinking about buying. They have displays for Xiaomi phones, but they don't have any on display and there's none in stock. And I want to get a fairly large micro SD card. I'd like to get a 256 megabyte card and none of these places carry them. The largest they carry of the uh, extreme is uh, 64 gigabytes. That's the biggest I've seen in any store here. So, yeah, weird. I think even banana, I keep saying banana like that because it's fun. Even banana, last time I was here, they don't have um, large uh, memory cards. The biggest is uh, 64 uh, megabytes, I think, or gigabytes. Anyway, I'm zeroing in. There's a J Mart smartphone store there. And right over there is a banana. And banana has another desk over here. And that's where I've run into my friendly uh, clerk. So I might go there first and see if my clerk is working. And then maybe he will help me with my purchase. Ah, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Time to, uh, time to dive in. The last time I was here was on the weekend and it was quite busy, a lot of guys working. But I don't think my guy is here today. Or oh, actually that might be him there, the tall fellow right over there, that might be him. So they sell Oppo, and Vivo, and here are the Redmi's that I've been... Yeah, the Xiaomi Redmi. Hello, how are you? Good, and you? Pretty good. I won't keep the camera running the whole time, but my guy is helping me out, so I'm very happy. We're slowly zeroing in on the purchase. I've looked at all the other options and... Uh, I think I'm going to go for the Redmi Note 9 Pro. This right? Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, here. You can banana and King Kong over Thailand. Oh, okay. okay. Seven year. Seven year. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. You okay. And and they have all three colors. They have white, stellar gray, and tropical green. I haven't seen the tropical green, but they seem to have it. So I think that's what I'm going to get. When it comes to an actual purchase, I often get a little bit rushed and I forget some of the details. That's kind of why I do that shark circling the shop thing, just to get my thoughts in order. <laughs> but things seem to be going well here. As I said, I track down the right color. I haven't seen tropical green, but I think that's what I'm going to go with. White is too white, and I don't mind the stellar gray, but it is just gray 
Why not have a little bit of color, even if I don't ever look at it? Once in a while, I can flip it around and go, oh, it's green, and that can be quite exciting. And I even had enough presence of mind to ask about the warranty, which I guess is a very big deal. I think I've seen this phone for a lower price in, in little shops out on the streets, but here, as he explained to me, it comes with a seven-year guarantee that I can uh, access at any banana or King Kong store, you know, anywhere in Thailand. And, uh, you know, for a few extra hundred baht or a thousand baht more, you know, whatever the higher price is here compared to out on the streets, that seems like a good thing to get. So we've settled the color, we've settled the uh, warranty question, and I can't get the memory card. The biggest they have is 64 gigabyte, and I'll have to track a, a larger capacity card down somewhere else. But the phone itself has 128 gigabytes of internal memory, and that's more than enough to uh, get started with. So. I guess they have to get it from a, uh, a warehouse in the shopping mall somewhere and uh, it's going to take 10 or 15 minutes for them to deliver it here. The one remaining issue, I've run into this before, is I'm, I'm hoping that the box shows up completely wrapped in cellophane and perfectly sealed like it came straight from the factory. I've sometimes been faced with a situation where I bought some electronics at a reputable store and then the box they bring me is a wide open box and I don't really want to make a big stink about that and say oh what's going on here are you trying to sell me are you an, an old used camera are you trying to cheat me or something but I would like to get a sealed box if I can and uh, I didn't ask about that but I'm waiting to see what shows up from the uh, from the warehouse and I hope the box looks to be in good condition sealed and uh, then we'll go from there <laughs> so exciting things are moving along the uh, phone showed up and we're just sort of going through some initial uh, setup procedures and checking the phone making sure everything works and there it is there so there's the box that it came in so there's the uh, charger a usb cable and the phone itself, all done uh, setting up. So there's the uh, front screen with all the uh, in pre-installed apps. Oh, there it is there. And there's the, uh, the very important back color, tropical green or kind of a minty green, something like that. And here is a quick size comparison. And that's my old Xiaomi that I'm using now for editing video, and there's the new one, side by side. <laughs> this one's gigantic by uh, comparison. So it'll be uh, pretty interesting to start using that one. And there's a, this is actually a cover. The regular phone is just uh, like silver, silver gray on the back. And the phone uh, comes with a cover, which I will probably put on. Where did it go? I think it's here inside this uh, secret box. Now, all these uh, Xiaomi phones come with a uh, kind of a protective case for the back um, in the box. Looks like that. It's kind of a, uh, it's a clear, clear plastic. So I guess you can still see the... Uh, the minty green color, but then this uh, protects the back. And I think I'll, I'll put this on for sure. It will at least, I think, be something a bit more grippy than holding on to the glass. Very exciting, all set to go. I've paid, I have the receipt. We finished set th setting everything up. I'll talk about that a bit more in a, in a second. And they gave me some free gifts. So my bag is a lot bigger and <laughs> heavier than it's supposed to be. I'll talk about that uh, in a minute as well, once, uh, once we leave here. My guy, uh, Mac, who works here, has been uh, yeah, exceptionally friendly, really helpful. Couldn't be happier. 
You know how people get buyer's remorse almost the second they pay for something? I do quite often, but this time, zero at all. I feel quite confident about this purchase. Pretty happy about it. Happy about it. Well, I think I'm going to sit down for a few minutes with a cold drink before I leave the mall and uh, talk about this uh, purchase of mine. Yeah, I've got a, a nice table over there. Okay. This place is called Southern Coffee. And what shall I get? They didn't have any smoothies or frappes or anything like that. I guess there's no uh, working blender or something. I don't know. So I just went for a standard uh, ice cappuccino. It's like, <laughs> poor me. I had to get an ice uh, cappuccino at a fancy uh, cafe in Mesa. The burden I have to bear. Mm. Nice. I really needed that. So, the moment. I'm not going to dive into the phone and turn it on and play with settings. I'll wait until I get back to the air-conditioned comfort of my guest house when I have clean and dry fingers and I can do everything well. Um, wow. The box is heavy now that the whole thing is put together. And the box did come sealed in uh, cellophane and they had to cut it open. Everything was fine, straight out of the factory. And there it is there, the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Feels like there should be an orchestra playing for this, you know, like, ah. Come on. <laughs> it's got a vacuum seal. There we go. And, uh, this contains all the manuals and the, uh, the rubber case for the back and your SIM card tool and things like that. And once again, there is the phone. And there is the back of the phone. For the first day, I guess, I will think about the back of the phone. And um, after that, I will hold it like this for the rest of my life and I will completely forget that there's anything back there and I will forget about the color. But for now, that is the color. I'm pleased with it, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, certainly better than the white and, and a lot more uh, interesting and exciting than the uh, interstellar gray. I kept calling it stellar gray, but I think it's interstellar gray. And uh, yeah, I like, uh, I like this color a lot. So there it is there. It's got some weight to it, very hefty, which I like. I picked up some other phones from different different brands and the same size phone, but they felt so light, like a playing card almost. And people seem to like that. They dislike it when a phone is heavy, but I, I like that uh, hefty feel to it. And I guess it's, yeah, Gorilla, Gra Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back. Your typical quad camera setup now. I guess that's normal. Every phone has a quad camera. Until I started doing research into buying a new phone, I didn't even know quad cameras existed. I had no idea cameras had uh, advanced to that extent. I don't even know how a quad camera works. Do you choose which camera to use every time you take a picture? I have no idea. I guess I'll figure all that out. So yeah, there it is. Um, for now, not much more to say about it. But, oh, it's really exciting. And this uh, surprised me. They gave me a free gift. And I thought this was the only free gift. This is a power box kit containing a cable, earphones, a charger, a connector, and a car charger. I haven't opened it yet. Um, don't really need to right now, but there's a whole bunch of uh, gizmos in there that may or may not be useful. But then, when I, when I paid for the phone, they also gave me a 10,000 milliamp hour uh, power bank for free. A Primo, I don't know the brand, Primo G1 portable external battery. Uh, yeah, 10,000 milliamp. I've never had one of these before. 
I never bought one, mainly because I didn't want to carry such a heavy thing around, and it does feel uh, heavy. So even if I don't end up using this, it will be a nice gift for someone in my life here in uh, Mesa. So yeah, check that out. Portable external battery. And there is an and. They gave me a pair of SP07 smart blue blue Bluetooth Bluetooth speakers. Check that out. Simple, elegant, fashionable, and practical style metal mesh cover. Abrasive, hand-free appearance. I don't know. Yeah, Bluetooth speakers. I don't know if it's all one unit or uh, two units. I suppose we can pull this out and uh, take a look at it while I'm here. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And there you go. Bluetooth speakers. And uh, these are the very first Bluetooth speakers I've ever had in my life. It will certainly be uh, handy to have for my remaining time in uh, Mesot, however that long that ends up being. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to uh, play around with these. That was very interesting. Turns out that particular shop, I don't think it was branded banana. It was a King, I think it is a King Kong uh, shop, which is connected to banana. It's the same company, but I guess some of their outlets are called King Kong and some of them are called uh, Banana. There we go. Having trouble getting it back into the box. Yeah, there you go. Free gifts. Bluetooth speakers. 10,000 milliamp hour power bank and uh, a complete gadget box. Yeah, really nice of them. And I guess I will uh, carefully put my phone away for now and uh, power it all up when I get back to the guest house and uh, set it up and do the uh, fingerprint scan. It has a fingerprint scanner on the side, I'm told. I've never had one of those before either, but I guess you uh, can do it with your finger or your thumb, but you have to register your fingerprint first. Hmm. New adventures. So that is my exciting purchase for today. I'm sure I'm going to be uh, learning about this new phone for many days to come. Yeah, the, uh, the buying process was quite interesting. Maybe if I'd thought ahead, I could have anticipated some of this, but again, I didn't at all. Mainly that they asked to see my passport, and that never occurred to me, though it probably should have. But luckily, I always carry copies. Of, I carry multiple copies of my passport with me at all times, and that usually works out okay. The thing is, when they ask to see your passport, they aren't really saying we need to see your passport. What they're saying is we need the information from your passport. So as long as you have a photocopy of it that has the number and expiry date and nationality, all the information of your passport that they can then read and enter in the computer, that's uh, good enough. And then I, I, while well, I gave them the copy of my passport, I also gave them my phone number thinking, that could be useful for warranty or follow-up sales or I don't know, and, but I have a phone number, a local one. So I said, okay, here's my phone number as well. And they were glad to have that. And they put that into the computer. It took a long time. I think there were some special situations because they were dealing with a foreigner and they were having a conversation about exactly how they process this sale for a foreigner as opposed to a Thai person. But they, they got through all that. And then my, my other phone, my Motorola, it beeped in my pocket. And I looked, and it was a message 
from them. So as part of the warranty or registration process, they sent a coded message, SMS message, to my, the phone number I'd given them. And then they wanted to look at my phone and they could see in the message a special code. And then they took the code from my phone and entered it back into the computer. So I guess that was some kind of a confirmation system to deal with my phone number or SIM card or something. Anyway, it was another process uh, that I didn't expect. And then, um, then I paid for it. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was the end of it. As I said, very pleasant experience. Great uh, service from everybody there at King Kong Banana. Couldn't, I couldn't be happier about it. And I got a very elaborate receipt to go along with it. And there's all kinds, all the, the gifts that they gave me are, are on the receipt, but, and all the prices are listed, but in the end, all those prices were then deleted from the final uh, bill. So I got seven screen care for 790 baht. I'm not sure what that is. Super seven care plus. Oh, I guess that's the warranty, seven year warranty. But according to this, the warranty would cost nearly 4,000 baht total, but they didn't charge me for that warranty. So I guess I got it at no charge. Maybe that's also a special service. And then there was the, the, the box of five gadgets, 390 baht. The power bank, 890 baht. And the Bluetooth speakers, 1,290 baht. And all of that is listed on the receipt. Comes to, I guess, six... Yeah, 6,000 baht. But then that was deleted from the price. And I only had to pay 7,999 baht. So I gave them 8,000 and I got one bot coin back. <laughs> so there it is. And I think that will be the end of my uh, video for this whole shopping experience. I'll probably make another video about my new phone, but that'll be about setting it up and getting used to it and how I feel about it after a couple of days. For now, that's the end of the uh, small adventure of buying my next uh, smartphone and hopefully it will last uh, for a, a good good length of time yeah <laughs> very excited see you in the next video I am out in the real world for the first time with my new phone. And uh, here it is there. Still very happy with it so far. And just to record the event, since I'll probably never look at it again, <laughs> there is the, the color of the phone, tropical green, mint green. And I put the plastic case around the back. And I'm much happier now that it has the plastic case. It's much more grippy much easier to hold on to. Um, yeah, smartphones are kind of weird from that point of view because they do make such a big deal out of the fact that this phone has a Gorilla Glass back. And yet Gorilla Glass or any kind of glass is so slippery that it's horrible. I mean, <laughs> the first thing you want to do when you buy a phone that has a glass back is to put plastic around it. So what's the point of having the glass case to begin with when the first thing you want to do is cover it up with something that's more practical? Another observation came out of all of my smartphone shopping. I haven't said anything about it because it's such a common observation. It's pretty much a cliche these days, but 
I must have watched 200 or 300 videos on YouTube reviewing different smartphones and in none of the reviews, not a single one of the reviews, did anyone ever make a phone call or talk on the phone. The whole point of this device at the beginning, of course, was that it was a phone that you, a mobile phone that you can use to call people. But of course, it's gotten to the point that being able to make a phone call is the very least important feature of the whole device. <laughs> way below being a camera for photos and video, surfing the web, watching movies, watching TV shows, and countless other functions and features that it has. The one thing that it's, its foundational purpose to make a phone call is so unimportant now that nobody even mentions it. Not one reviewer that I've ever seen has ever made a phone call or called anyone. That's kind of funny.